breaking tonight. Protesters clash with police as the demonstrators try to take down the Christopher Columbus statue in Grand Park. <laughs> set off near the covered statue as hundreds of protesters gathered around. And Chopper 2 live over Columbus Drive right now. Still a very active scene. You can see the flashing lights. Plenty of police cars out there and people still on the scene in and around those streets. And right now we have live team coverage. We begin tonight with Jermont Terry. Jermont. Brad and Erica, a very intense night tonight, no doubt here in downtown. We have several people that were taken from the scene by ambulance. Also reports of several officers injured after this clash with the officers and the demonstrators came to a heat around 730 this evening. Here it is. I'm at the intersection of Indiana and Roosevelt. Anyone trying to go east towards um, Columbus on Roosevelt cannot go that way because you can see Chicago police have this street blocked off because it was right down the street at Grant Park where everything jumped off tonight. Chicago police and the SWAT unit converged on Columbus and Roosevelt near Grant Park to disperse a crowd. Those officers out in full force after a rally to defund CPD took a violent turn with reports of people and the crowd fighting cops. Officers were prepared not only wearing full riot gear, but pepper spray in hand too. And they were forced to use the spray after the crowd defaced and attempted to tear down the statue of Christopher Columbus. CBS 2 was rolling when cops moved in. After deploying the pepper spray, those in the crowd were visibly in pain from the burning, some collapsing as they gasped for air in the heat. Back up, please! Officers eventually moved the crowd from around the Columbus statue, but the crowd did not back down. Some in this group told me they witnessed officers mishandling a woman. Take a listen to what one witness said happened when the officer saw him. He, he was beating up a woman and I went to film yeah. him. Okay. And he took my phone and flew. Columbus and Roosevelt was shut down for a good portion of the Friday night as Chicago police continued to move the crowd west away from the park. Police did confiscate several bikes, but we wait to find out just how many people were arrested and or injured. Now, it took Chicago police a good time to get that crowd from Grant Park. Again, they were heading west here along Roosevelt, and police were able to push all of those people, hundreds of people, all the way to Michigan, and that's where the crowd dispersed. Again, we are waiting for the final word of as to how many people were injured and or arrested. Chicago police still preventing anyone from driving down Roosevelt heading towards Grant Park. That's the very latest reporting live in the South Loop. Jermont Derry, CBS 2 News. Tremont, thank you from Chopper 2 tonight. Fireworks going off as police shut down parts of Columbus Drive. Charlie DeMar continues our live team coverage from Columbus and Roosevelt. Charlie. Brad, yeah, Columbus Drive is shut down. You can see a number of Chicago police cars along with fire trucks here shutting down the street. But if you take a look right here, you see a mountain. It's been a growing mountain tonight of what's been a bicycle uh, sort of graveyard. Uh, these are bicycles belonging to the demonstrators who are out here uh, tonight. They are now being hauled off and taken away. We've seen a number of people trying to get their bikes back. Uh, they were left behind, presumably, when these demonstrators were tear gassed uh, and, and cleared out by police. Uh, and they scattered, leaving their bikes behind, and they're now being hauled off. But if you take a look from above of some video from earlier, uh, you can see that clash between police and protesters. Police clearly outnumbered in all of this. They tried forming a circle around Columbus statue. Fireworks were set off, bottles thrown at them, other objects also thrown in the direction of CPD tonight. Demonstrators did scale the statue, got a rope around it to try and yank it down. There has been a tarp around the statue, covering the statue for several weeks. Uh, it was heavily graffitied tonight, but CPD did lar launch a large-scale response, clearing the area with pepper spray. Now back out here live, you can see that the statue is still standing here tonight. A police, spo a police spokesman, rather, describes what happened tonight as an ambush, uh, saying that they were standing in front of that statue. Several officers seriously injured. We are told at least a dozen people were arrested and at least four people, at least four protesters, were taken uh, by ambulance here to local hospitals. Uh, we, of course, it has died down. Again, the biggest action right now is just these bicycles uh, being hauled away that were left behind by all these protesters, guys.
All right, Charlie, thank you. Well, at times in this already tense situation, it got even more heated. Our Marissa Parra was wearing visible media credentials on scene reporting for CBS in Chicago when this happened. Move! Move! Move that way! Now, Marissa is okay, but as you can see there, the phone was knocked out of her hands as police moved to push her back. Our crews are still on the scene tonight, and we'll check back in with him later in the show.